Is wrestling fake? The, the, my favorite question of all time. Um, I usually laugh it off when people ask me about it. Wrestling, uh, it's a long story. Ten years old after watching the movie Man on the Moon of Milos Forman, the movie about the life of Andy Kaufman, that he was, uh, was a genius. Just like anybody that likes wrestling, I started like at an early age, about eight, that I liked it. I was the kid that had all the wrestlers, um, the old like LJN rubber action figures from the 80s. The fact is, I don't choose the wrestling, but the wrestling chose me. I've I remember seeing Tommy Dreamer at the County Center when I was really little. A friend told me that Tommy was starting a school over here in Poughkeepsie called the House of Hardcore. In the middle of the ring, everybody sees me. If I'm over here, then referee somewhere, body, oh, I, I can't see. American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. My buddy in Connecticut that I served with, he always wanted to be a pro hockey player. And then I seen him, he was doing semi-pro hockey. And I was like, look at this guy. I knew him and he's pursuing his dream. You know, what stopped me from mine? In my mid twenties, I did a really bad reality show on MTV that led to the door opening for pro wrestling. My father is a doctor and my mother a judge. So, in my family, say, I want to be a professional wrestler was something about, I want to go to the moon, you know. When they see that uh, I'm a professional worker and a professional student of that world, they support me. At first, I thought they were going to kill me and think that I was really crazy, but they've been actually very supportive. I'm actually sure my dad doesn't even know that I wrestle, but my mom, she's excited. My grandparents looked at me and they said, no granddaughter of mine is going to be wrestling. And my father don't like the dream. So the dream is not to come true, uh, blah, blah, blah. But he said to me, uh, you want this? Just do it. The whole time I'm freaking out, just nervous. I'm like, okay, it's my first time going out there. I do not want to make a bad impression. When you start off in independent wrestling, if you're coming into wrestling to try to be, to try to be famous, make a lot of money, you are in the wrong career. I don't make anything right now from wrestling. You're brand new, you just started the business. Guess what? You're gonna sit up and ring all day, you're gonna get there at noon, you're not gonna be done till two o'clock in the morning, and you're lucky if you get $25. That's if the promoter feels generous that night and wants to pay off the new guy. So you're losing money. And it's just a vicious cycle of you get paid nothing to bust your ass. You'd probably say that this is all adding up and sounding like a pretty ridiculous venture. The passion yeah. is always stronger than the sacrifices. The struggle will probably be financial wise. It's a mental struggle more than anything else. It's time to fight like evening jobs that I might get or night jobs because practice is at Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 7 o'clock. The drives, just late nights, watching wrestling, watching wrestling, watching wrestling, eating, 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 lifting weights. Just, it's very time consuming. I have no time for my family, unfortunately, but you know, they understand. That's kind of the up and down of being like an independent wrestler. Like, you, know, you go to Florida and you're traveling for the weekend, you're a god. And then you come back on Monday, you go to whatever job you have. Maybe some guy works at a gym, maybe you're a mechanic, maybe you're a bartender. But you know, like for, for those brief little moments, you're a superstar. And it comes crashing right back down on Monday. WWE is the be all, end all, number one company in pro wrestling. Obviously, those that are in WWE are probably making the most money. In Europe, is so different than the United States. In the United States, the, the business, the mentality, the people's mentality is so different. In Japan, it's a sport. It's in the newspapers over there. It's just different culture and they take it so serious. A ring is not a trampoline. 
Some people think it is, it's not. It's a different kind of surface. While being in shape for wrestling is, it, it, there's so many different levels to it. But you do need to have conditioning like, like nobody's business because for some reason, there's not a single cardio machine that you can get on that will ever compete with what you do in that ring. We'll be in the ring doing just drills for three minutes and it feels like forever. But once you get into the ring itself, running the ropes, doing a match, it takes so much more out of you. It's not like running laps, it's not running like long distances. First time I took a bump, I was like, oh, it's not too bad. It must be like some type of padding on the mat or something like that. No, it's not. I work out my back a lot because it's not for show, it's for protection. The pounding that your body's taking while you're trying to breathe, while you're doing all these other things, it's just, it's the conditioning. It's not easy, nothing's easy in this world. And to make it in this business, you gotta learn to survive. Come on, come on, come on! I was actually sick when I was a junior in high school. I had had, uh, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. As a result of that, I actually did, uh, you know, have to take steroids as part of the treatment for that. A peanut can be deadly to certain people. You know, do we ban peanuts? No, we don't. We put a warning label on it. Steroids? It's a touchy subject. It's not something that, that, that people talk about. If they do do it, it's like a circle of people, you know, and it's like, it's very, it's one of those like, like wink, wink, nudge, nudge things. Like, I actually have had friends, you know, I've been to the gym, trained with that, have, you know, dabbled in it. And I think there is a addictive element of it. It's not a drug that's been regulated. It's not a drug that's really been had long-term testing. Because of steroids, so many, you know, wrestlers, even athletes in general, have died early because of it. There are jacked up guys in wrestling, you know. But there are some that are successful and they're not all jacked up and stuff. Very limited shortcuts that women can take to enhance their performance. And you're getting these benefits and you're not working as hard to achieve it. Of course you might continue using it. The fact that there's testing on the top level now kind of eradicates it on the lower level. My personal opinion on steroids, keep them banned. They're still going to get them. They're illegal now, people still get them. If WWE called me tomorrow and I was doing some sort of cycle, do you really want to lose the co your, your dream contract in life because you did roids? Everything happened in the ring. In the wrestling ring happened in the life. If you think it's fake, you know, that's your opinion. So if you think the life is fake, it's fake wrestling too. There's many studies that the bumps that we take are like taking miniature car crashes. And then imagine somebody getting you on the top rope and just chucking you off or someone just suplexing you, you're getting that impact, so. And we're taking these three nights a week. People who say it's fake just don't understand them. You put your body on the line. That thing's, oh, that's his different. It's not like a box. It's not like a, a Muay Thai. Yeah, it's different. To the people that say wrestling is fake, you can hop in a ring and you know, take a punch to the face. You sacrifice everything you got. It's not as fake as it looks. The bumps and bruises are real. I would love to have them sit here one night for three hours and then at the end of it say, you're, you're not an athlete. You don't deserve to be considered a sport. Like, not everyone can do it. If you're looking to get into pro wrestling nowadays, I, you know, there's a couple of things that you need to do. Do your homework and really think about, is this what you want to do? You need to diversify your skill set. Get in shape, because it's not easy. You have to reach your star with your power. Just with your power, with your mind, with your heart, without the help of nobody. Wrestling is a huge commitment. If you don't want it with all of your heart, don't even bother to step into that ring. Follow your dream.